Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to take a look at this EZA Bola, which I think she's going to be a very useful unit moving forward. Um, ever since she released, she was always a pretty popular support unit, and then obviously as defense became more important, she eventually fell off. But this iteration of Bola is looking actually very good, and I would say she's probably a red zone viable unit, provided it's a stage you can dodge, so, you know, with the exception of Broly and whatever other stages you can't dodge, but... In any stage where you can dodge, I think she's going to be actually usable support. And this is exactly what the game needs right now. Units like chi -Lai, units like this Bola, um, that you can run in super uber difficult content that are still support units, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at her right here. So she uh, massively stacks attacks. So that's new. She's an attack stack. Well, I think she may be attack stack before, but uh, massively raising attack is very good. Um, supreme damage and lowers attack and defense. And then just a massive passive here that she got. So she gets defense plus 88%. Plus an additional defense 88% while performing a super. So we'll keep that in mind. All allies key 3 and attack 40. I wish they would have given her defense uh, on her support, but they didn't, which is fine, I guess. Um, attack and defense plus 20 up to 40%. And chance of evading, including super plus 35 up to 70 per Peppy Gals category ally on the team. So if you have two Peppy Gals on the team, um, she's going to have a 70% chance to dodge. Now, on this particular team build, I am only running one Peppy Gal, which is herself. So, you only have to have one other Peppy Gal on the team, right? So, <clears throat> um, on this particular team build, I could have found, like, a different unit. I think if they came... Because right now, I'm running around Vegeta Family, which I feel like is one of her better teams. Um, I think if they come out with a really good, like, standalone Bulma, uh, like, support unit that's on Vegeta Family, I think that could be a really unit to pair with Bola and then give her that full thing, right? Um... So she's going to be losing a little bit for not having the extra Peppy Gal there, but we want to see her on this Vegeta family team. Um, key plus 3 and chance of performing a crit plus 18 if there's a Vegeta on the team. And then an additional attack plus 88 while performing a super if they are attacking in the same turn. So I specifically wanted to be able to kind of surround Bola with some Vegeta units, right? Um, so I went all out and just gave her a bunch of dodge. This is from the old build, but I actually don't mind this build. Um, I would say you definitely could go like more additionals on her if you want to stack her attack more. But realistically, this bull is still going to be a floating support. So I would say even though she potentially has 70% chance to dodge, um, giving her full dodge on top of that is still actually a pretty good idea. So you see, I went heavy on the dodge equips and I actually gave her a dodge defense equip in the gold slot. So I really wanted to prioritize that. This is basically a full level 10 link showcase. She was just being really stubborn at the end. Had two links I didn't get yet, but she's pretty much there, right? Um, so uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the team. She is on a 180 lead right now to Vegeta family. So that's the other reason I wanted to uh, use her on this team. Um, and I'm actually going to link her up with this really crappy world tournament Vegeta. This guy is like a meme for me because um, I was pulling on world tournament banners and I literally went, I think, seven or eight, uh, you know, those GSSR tickets. I went like seven or eight of those in a row without getting a featured unit. And it's a 50% chance. And I really wanted like the Kale or the Khalifla. And I just kept pulling this guy. And I was so mad. I actually went and just rainbowed him out of spite. So, and I did like a, a kind of like a, a, a satire showcase on him where I was acting like he was all good. And it was really funny because somebody went in the comments like, I don't think you were saying those attack stats right. And like, no, I was memeing. Um, this guy's really bad. Uh, this guy's literally like putting up chi -Lai level attack stats, but doesn't have any of the good chi -Lai stuff, right? So he's there just basically to be a linking partner for Bola. We're going to feature her on rotation, really try to make her look good. Um, so turn one here, 124k defense isn't crazy, but remember she does get 88% on super. So after super, she's going to be over 200k defense, but in a normal situation, you're probably going to want to have her with another Peppy Gal, and she's going to have 70% chance to dodge, right? Which is pretty decent. So let's go ahead and just see what kind of attack stat we get. Now, we do have a Vegeta on rotation, so this should be a good attack stat with the bonus 88% attack. So let's see what she's looking like here. All right, so 2.3, um, not the craziest. Um, we'll see how fast her attack stack um, stacks up. Now, I'm okay with her attack stack being low because, like, she's not really meant to be an on-rotation DPS unit, right? Um, so, it's fine. Because when I was using her, so I was, I've been using her quite a bit on some Peppy Gals runs. Um, and what I was finding is that her attack stats were, like, 1.2 mil, like, without the Vegeta around. Um, so, remember, she's getting crit chance and, like, a lot of attack from having that Vegeta around um, is really what she's getting. I don't think the Vegeta part of the passive is super important. Just because this is a showcase, I wanted to see, like, how good we can make her attack stats look, right? And she is missing, like, a small part, like, 20% for not having the other Peppy Gal. Um, but 
it's going to outweigh that by having the Vegetas and by having um, the 180% leader skill as well, right? So, all right, 2.6 for this Tarbo. By the way, I thought this was a great spot. This Tarbo is not a bad unit for the Vegeta family team. Um, he's putting up decent attack stats here, but he supports Siblings Bond. So as long as you're running Siblings Bond, Vegeta family, which Bola is a Siblings Bond unit because um, she's Trunks' sister, right? So um, she's going to get supported by Tarbo, and Tarbo does a lot. He does orb changing. Like, he's actually a nice little free-to-play unit that people probably have overlooked, right? All right, so now... Um, Right here, yeah, we're getting, what, four links active? And I think she's going to get that either way. Yeah, four links active here. Um, so 150k defense, so a lot better on the defense. So now, uh, with her 88 on super, she's probably going to be at near 300k defense, kind of in that range. Um, pretty close to a probably 275 to 280, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what her attack stat's looking like. Because um, she is massively raising, right? So I think her attack stat might go up pretty quickly. Uh, she might stack a little bit better than your typical attack stacker. Yeah, 3.2 already. Uh, that stacked up pretty quick. So I think if we get this girl going on rotation, she might actually be a force to be reckoned with here. Once again, provided you have a Vegeta. The problem is, is, um, you know, currently there's no, like, it's obviously impossible to have a Vegeta on a Peppy Gals team. Um, my one hope, if there is a way to sneak a Vegeta on the Peppy Gals... Uh, the one way they could do it is if they had a uh, Bulma exchange into Vegeta card. Um, which could actually is the current Vegeta Bulma. Is that what that is? Because there already is one. Actually, I should check that. Because uh, there's that AGL one that came out. Because, uh, you know, they did the Goku Chi Chi one. Yeah, that Vegeta Bulma might actually be in it. I don't know. I'd have to check. I don't remember if they're what they are but basically the idea would be that you'd have a Bulma exchange Vegeta because the way the exchange cards work is they're not a joint forces card um whatever the first card in the exchange is they get all the categories and all of that counts towards just the first character so whatever the starting character is so for example like the Int LR Vegeta the Namek Vegeta that exchanges into Goku they're on Vegeta family so you technically can run Goku on Vegeta family if you exchange into Goku it would be the same concept if you had a Vegeta um, that say, or sorry, a Bulma, who would be Peppy Gals, that you could exchange into Vegeta. Technically, that's a way you could sneak Vegeta on the Peppy Gals, which would be, if you really liked Bola, that would be like her optimal setup, right? That way you could basically have that Bulma exchange into Vegeta at some point, the rest of your team's flooded with Peppy Gals, um, and then you'd have that Vegeta to put on rotation with Bola. All right, so 100, so Bola now at this point is going to be pretty steady on the defense, right? So, 150 uh, with 88% on super. That's pretty much where her limit is. So she's not like a defensive beast. But once again, it's that dodge that she packs in. 70% chance to dodge. That's UI Goku, right? Um, and obviously people have different amounts of luck with UI Goku. Yeah, 3.6. So I think she's going to be like over, like probably at the 4 mil range next turn. Um, if we got an additional super, that would be nice. We did get a dodge there, so we got to see that. And wow, this GT Vegeta pushing up to a 1 mil attack stat, so good. Yeah, 40k normals. I'm actually going to be very careful. I'm probably going to have to use items uh, because of that really crappy GT Vegeta. My question is, World Tournament Easy A's when? Like, seriously, when are they going to start Easy A's uh, World Tournament and Dragon Ball Saga units? Uh, they they got to get on that. Um, I don't know. What I'll do here is we'll just do this. And then, sure, let's go crazy. Just pop the active skill. See if we can't just take this Vegeta out with these two Super Saiyan 4s here. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then, yeah, the key didn't drop for me, but Trunks doesn't do a ton of damage anyways. Let's see what these two Vegetas can do. I think if we get some crits and some additionals, uh, we can maybe take out this phase of Vegeta and give us a fresh one for Bola. We'll see, though. All right, oh, no crit. Yeah, and no additional. So, no, probably not going to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> So, you know, just wasting my active skill. I mean, this guy's actually getting linked, so he's up to 5 mil. So he is hitting a lot harder. I don't know. If you give me a crit here and then an additional with a crit. No crit, of course. And no additional. Okay. Sure. All right. So this Vegeta's fine. Oh, and then Trunk Supers anyways. Just to get him nice and low. Not that Bola's like in a one-shot or anything. I think Bola would safely still be able to do like a super and an additional if I put her in slot 1. Which I think would be fine. So the thing to keep in mind is you're not going to be blown away by... Wow, three links with Tarbal actually isn't bad. Should get more if I go in the middle? Nope, just the same four. Okay. So Tarbo actually isn't a bad running mate for it. Once again, keep in mind, Bola is not the unit you want to run on rotation. We're just trying to showcase her, right? Um, so normally the way you want to think of this Bola is she's going to be floating 
with like 1.2 mil attack stats until she stacks up um, with uh, dodge, right? Um, all right, so there's a dodge there, and then, yeah, about 4 mil. So she does stack fairly steadily, right? So we'll take her... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to go all the way through. Yeah, dodge is coming through, and this that was uh, without the 70% because we only have one Peppy Gale on the team. Um, so that's pretty good. We've had some dodges come through, and then Tarble at 2.6. And once again, Bola is supported by Tarble, getting a nice crit there. Um, let's try to maybe at least get to Evolution Blue Vegeta. We'll see. All right. Super Saiyan 4 is here. Just go crazy. Do that. Do that. Do that. All right. Now, I didn't check Bola's defense last turn, but I guarantee it was, like, start a turn, like, 150, right? Pretty standard. Okay. Ooh. We took a shot there. Ouch. Ouchies. No dodge counter. All right. Uh, next turn, I probably need to use an item because I'm going to have, you know, our boy GT Vegeta who's going to get slapped up. Like, literally by normals, will instantly die. Uh, and he's going to be type disadvantage against this Vegeta. So, yeah, it might be... I don't know, is it going to be a double Whis situation? I don't even remember what items I brought. Uh, we got to do something to protect him. Because even with Whis, he could probably get us killed from a super. He's got, like, no defense. I don't know. I'm pretty excited because I feel like a World Tournament revamp, revamp's got to be coming soon. And Dokkan has shown they are not afraid to just spit out ECAs like crazy. Like, and with how many Dragon Ball Saga and World Tournament units, I could see them doing, like, 10 units per World Tournament once they do this revamp. I could really see it. Um, all right, yeah, this is a very weak defensive turn. Um, so I think we're going to Princess Snake and Whis. And that should be enough to keep us in the clear here. All right, we'll look at Bola again. Yeah, 150k defense. Uh, very steady right there. Uh, what we're really looking at is how offensive this beast of a unit is. Kind of fitting we're pairing her with a GT Vegeta too, because that's like what's in the animation. It's because she's got that GT link with them, right? All right, so we're going to get a Dokkan mode here, sure. Oh, wow, 4.5. That was a big jump on this turn. So, yeah, I mean, Bola... The, the thing is, is she really should have stacked defense, not attack. Um, but I get it. Vegeta's in the animation. He's actually the one doing the super attack, right? It's like, all right, Dad, go and attack these guys for me. <laughs> you know, and that's... I think it would have been fun if they did the Vegeta with the mustache in the animation. That actually would have been pretty funny. Uh, but it didn't quite happen there, right? All right, uh, this won't do anything. We got too much damage reduction on. She was able to um, uh, buffer defense there too, right? Um, but yeah, this uh, Bola, you know, the uh, the offense can be there, right? And like, I think on a Peppy Gales team, um, you could run her on rotation, right? But I feel like if you're looking at the standard Peppy Gales team as it stands right now, I think Fidel and almost Int Rebrian are what you want to run on rotation. Um, but Bola, I guess you could, so you could do one rotation of Videl and Bola, and then the other one, Videl and Imran Brienne, that wouldn't be the worst, uh, cause then Bola would actually end up being one of your more offensive units on the team, right? Cause Peppy Gals doesn't have a lot of offense, um, but that wouldn't work, right? Cause you don't have the Vegeta, you're losing so much damage, um, so yeah, I think Bola is, is really relegated to a floating support in most situations, but trust me, even without the damage... The fact that she's a 3 key 40% attack support with 70% chance to dodge, that's really like all you can really ask for right now. Unless you're Chi Lai and you literally do everything, which that's why Chi Lai is so awesome. She's Chi Lai, I think, is the best support unit in the game. Um, I think her only downfall is maybe she could use some more teams. Uh, but if, you, if you're running a team that she's on, like she's, she's a must run. Uh, she's just so darn good. She just does everything, right? All right, well, I think we've pretty much seen it. I don't know. We might just make this the last turn here. I don't know if I want to go all the way because we're, we're taking a little bit slow because we don't have a lot of damage here, right? Defense is the same. Um, but you can see we're basically getting, like, I would say roughly 500k attack per turn. Yeah, we're up to 5 mil now. So we're pretty much getting, like, four to 500k attack per turn. So I think we'll leave it there. I think you guys get the idea. Uh, you can make her look good and get some pretty giant attack stats out of her. Um, so anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this Bola. I think Int Ribrian might still be my favorite, but Bola is going to be on a lot of teams, right? So I, I definitely see her having the advantage there. So anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.